I just got done doing the Tyler's Pro V1X golf ball reviews to have the base set. And now we got some fun. We got the Cut DC Dual Core Technology Tour Quality Four Piece Urethane Golf Ball. What's always sucked with the Cut Golf Balls is their packaging is normally pretty shitty. Um, you can't smell, but it does have a smell to it right out of the package. It's almost like a, not a rubbery, but definitely has a smell. And you can tell just by the cover. The cover is pretty, pretty tight right now. Definitely doesn't have, it has a lot of catch. So, you know, I have to say, I think that helps around the green. But we're gonna do the grip it and rip it test and compare it to the Titus Pro V1. Grip it and rip it. All right, so I don't know if you guys saw it. So the first Pro V1X right down the pipe. Then I hit three straight cut golf balls, okay? <laughs> All three of them sprayed a direction. And I'll say I didn't hit them the best, but three straight drives, one to, two to the left, one to the right, wasn't that great. And I piped both the tires Pro V1Xs down the middle of the fairway. Definitely, definitely. Gotta say that the, off the tee, the grip and rip it test goes to the Titus Pro V1X. Now, obviously, you have to drive it a few times to get the feel for how you should play that golf ball, how I should play the cut golf ball. But, you know, just based off of that test, it's I don't like the consistency there. I love the ball flight of the Pro V1. The cut golf ball did have decent ball flight as well, but so far, gotta give it to the Pro V1. All right, so we're walking up to the cut golf ball. Wasn't as bad as I thought, and then actually it went further than the Tideless, which is right there. If you guys can see it, slightly further, and that's just with the ball being in the rough. So not a bad shot by the cut golf ball. You know, there's where that one is. So it's a little bit further ahead, like three yards. So distance-wise, they do feel about the same, just off of that, you know, sample. Oh, and so there's that other. Pro V1 over there. So the two Pro V1s in the fairway, really nice shots. I think we'll do a little wedge test here. Got to find the other cut ball though. All right, so the other cut golf ball is in the sand trap here. We can't see it just yet, just yet, just yet. It's in there. There you go. All right, so we're gonna do a little wedge test. We're gonna be comparing the Tyler's Pro V1X to the cut golf ball. On the green.
walking up to the shots on the green with the wedge. It was a 52. So the shortest golf ball was my first one. That's the Titleist Pro B1. Then the cut was second. Two on the green. And then this one right, just right. It's a solid hit, but didn't get there. That's a Titleist as well. So I will say, it does seem like the cut golf ball just didn't fly as far off the wedge. I had to hit it a little bit harder. And so the best shot was by far the Titus Pro V1 there. So one of my biggest critiques of the original cut golf ball was that the pop off the putter face was not good. Uh, so that's my biggest worry. Now the cut. It just slapped off the putter. Good putt though. Yeah, it just freaking slapped off the putter. Alright, so the cut gets the win there, but that was mostly because I haven't really hit this club in a while. I didn't really commit to it with the Tyler's probably one X. I did with the cut golf ball, but I do think there's something to say there. You know, the four-piece golf ball, they had those layers for a reason, and it seems like the cut golf ball really responded with their layers there. So, obviously really good shots there. Don't think we can discredit the probably one X there, but the cut golf balls really performed just now. Alright, so we're walking up to the golf balls now. I can say I might... If I committed with the Taz Pro V1, I would have had some good shots as well. So the first shot, the kind of shank shot we're walking up to here. That's the Taz Pro V1 X, the first one. GSNC, don't know what that one is. Not mine, don't touch it. Second Taz Pro V1 X, you know, not a bad shot. The green's right there, just a little bit of a miss hit. That's the other Titus Pro V1, and then I got the two cut golf balls. All right, let's start from the inside out here and see what we can do. All right, I'll tell you guys what, you know, with putting, it doesn't really matter how it sounds or feels off the putter. I mean, it does somewhat, but really, it's all about the end results. And the end results got me freaking <coughs> a birdie with one of the cup golf balls, which was my first hit with the cut golf ball. And then, you know, really close to <laughs> draining another one. So pretty solid with the cut golf balls there with those putts. Uh, the times probably one was just a trash ass putt and that was just bad as a whole. So can't really blame it there. All right, so we're gonna drop some shots here at the 150 marker. Got a little pond up there, and the green's right there, so it's well protected. Let's test out that iron game today. Almost perfect.
very nice with the Tyler's Pro V1 there. Wow, that was a nice shot. Now, I don't really think I have to say this, but I'm not a professional golfer. I'm just a guy that enjoys golf. As you guys can probably tell, decent, decent, got that nice feel going. Um, just love golf, love doing golf ball reviews. You kind of struggle when you change golf balls, and that's the biggest takeaway with golf balls that I've you know, noticed. You should kind of just play the same one over and over again so you get used to the consistency there. All right, we're walking up, walking up. Any golf balls? So this is gonna be about 170 it looks like. A little bit uphill. Ah, it's a little bit colder out, so I don't know exactly what to hit here. Just gonna do a hard seven, hopefully I can get there. All right, walking up to the cut golf ball. Pro V1's over there somewhere. Got a little uphill chip here, let's see what we can do. All right guys, so what you just saw is gonna be a weekly thing. Gonna be doing highlight videos and also what's inside the golf ball, doing the grades breakdown. It'll be a two part video. One will be kind of just breaking down the shot performances of it, doing the test on site, and then we'll come back in the labs here, the lab, <laughs> and we'll uh, see what's inside and then we'll do a kind of an overall grade breakdown. And at the end of this kind of series of 2020, we'll give you guys the best performing golf ball in 2020. So stay tuned, should be a good month. Oh, and in the comment section below, let me know what golf ball you guys wanna see next and I'll try to make that happen for you relatively quickly. So I'll be happy to help you guys out. Let's do it. Nine to five sports, been awesome. we out.